I'm Milena Papas and I'm founder of Premium Airs. Well, first of all, it's great to be here once again. I think this is the ninth consecutive year that we've been doing Rome, and it's always a pleasure to be a partner of this leg. It's an exquisite leg, a historical um, center city. I think that one of the things that I love about breeding and riding is the fact that I look for horses that are modern type horses, like a little bit bloody, uh, alert, brave, horses that can suffer the heat, that can go through cold weather, that can endure many competitions because I mean we can see that our sport is evolving, it's becoming all the more demanding. You have different locations, you have five star competitions all the time, so you need horses that can adapt to that. And I think that one of the things that I find is very helpful is the fact that that kind of horse is what I like to ride and that's what I kind of like to breed. So those two are aligned which makes it much easier to evolve with the sport as well. This is Fantasy. She's exactly what her name uh, implies. She's a 13-year-old mare by Philou de Meuse. She was also homebred by uh, my friend Gudrun Fadet. I brought her here to compete. She's very athletic. She's a very strong horse. She wants to go. She's brave. She's alert. She's, uh, she always looks to do the best for her rider. And as you can see, she's very friendly. So she's an example of what one of the perfect horses for me would be. And a little bit goofy as well. So one of the reasons I started breeding was my, um, my interest in the genealogy and the pedigrees of the horses. I wanted to see what similarities the horses have, um, where the genes come from, what the traits are and the characteristics. So, and it was also a way to keep in contact with the sports when I'm in a country like Greece, which is quite remote. You can see what traits you try to produce and try to continue down the line. You meet a lot of people who help you evolve, you know, and learn more about genetics about the sport itself. I have a lot of uh, cooperations with Max Kuhner, with Christian Alman, of course with Pius now 15 years. And so, I mean, you meet new people, you learn a lot about the sport, about the genealogies, and it's, it's just extremely interesting, especially when you get to ride the horses themselves. So you produce it, you breed it, and then you get to hopefully ride it one day, or someone you know rides it, and they get a lot of pleasure out of it. Yeah. Well, the hope would be to get a placket at some point for breeding the best horse. Um, so that would be the ultimate goal. Um, but even more so than that would be to have people come up to you and say, you know, you bred this horse and we're so happy with it. It's given us so much joy. We've won so much or it's given us so many moments of happiness. So that would be the ultimate. Um, already I'm seeing that one of the horses that I bred um, has uh, been approved as a stallion and we bred with him actually. So we have a little cult out of him. So that's also a first milestone for us. Um, but 10 years down the line, I think that combination of having achieved a horse that is the ultimate GP, 165 star, um, and making people happy and, you know, coming young girls, young boys, coming up young riders, coming up and telling you how much joy this horse has offered them. Thank you for having us both once again. Thank you.